we're going to take you out in the marsh creeks of beaufort south carolina and in the big river of jenkins creek right here in south carolina to pull four crab pots that we have baited with shrimp heads and fish that we have caught in our shrimp trawl net or our cast net out the other day just uh casting out in the creeks of beaufort south carolina For the ones that don't know us, my name's Oliver. This is LeGrand, my good buddy that loves to go crabbing with us. And this is my beautiful wife, Steph. We brought two baskets, one to dump our crabs in and one to put our keepers in as we sort them whatever comes out our crab pots. We have a trusty gauge that measures five inches right here from side to side and a pair of tongs. Okay, boy, load it down. I hope so too, LeGrand. Take both of us to put it in. <laughs> yeah. We are in South Carolina, so that five inch gauge that he has measures the crabs that we can keep. They do have to be five inches in South Carolina to keep. The first two pots we're gonna be pulling are set in these small marsh creeks, guys. And we're coming up on the first one here now. This water right here, it isn't but about four to five foot deep right now. Got a custom, couple rusty, nice big crabs in there. Let's go ahead and open that top compartment right here. Our entrance or our door to our trap. And I'm gonna go ahead and dump this old bait out of here. I think we've seen our better days of that bait. Anytime you handle these crabs, guys, grab them right back here at the base, that flipper fin, and you should be fine. Keeper, keeper. They don't know how to claw. That does have a claw. Oh yeah, it's got both claws. He won't let go. Another keeper. There's three. And that was too That's small. That's too small. Get him out of here. Take this one here off with your palms, Graham. Get him out of here. He's too small. So first pot. And we got to figure out how to get four crab pots and the three of us in this small little skip. Crabbing ain't clean, it's a dirty job. It is a maze. He knows the back of his hand. That's right. He knows this maze of Marsh Creek like the back of his hand. I don't know about that. I'm literally coming to a dead end this way. Oh, Lord. Let's see if we can ease up through this grass. We actually took a wrong turn somewhere. Uh-oh. It's getting shallow. Oh, we're gonna make it first? I hope so. We'll have to see if that little 25 can push us through. She's turning mud back here, guys. She's pushing us on through, though. Yeah, I see it opening. A little bit further. A little bit further. Woohoo! 
Made it back out to the creek. These little Yamahas, <laughs> they are the best. They, they will take a beat and keep on going. Got a bite? Sounds like he's got a bite. Shark. Oh, a few keepers too. I see. All right, turn it on around here, Legrand. Right, it looks like y'all switched up the containers here. So let me grab this. Get these keepers out of here. I'm almost there. There's <laughs> still one keeper in there. That's the keeper. That's the keeper. That one's not. Get your boy in there, buddy. That one's Run. not. That one's not. So. so you said this is a keeper. Right here. Keeper? That one is. This one definitely, definitely. is. That's a big guy there. That's a small one. This one was not. Put him back. Keeper. 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 That's a keeper. God, the keeper. This one was too small, I believe. Thank you for helping us, Oliver. I, I, I always help my friends oh, in my yeah. own life. Not a keeper. This oh, one's a keeper. That's a pretty crab there, but is it a keeper? I oh, can't yeah. get to that point. It's close. Yep, yeah, it's a keeper. It's a keeper. How this about one's that? a little too small from what it's I a small one, but its points are sticking out pretty good there. Yeah, we know that other pot, so that we're gonna get to it in a second, buddy. Too small. Wait a minute now. Hold He's on. too small. Yeah, it's too small. Four and seven eighths. Okay, you were right. Nasty. Get this old nasty mess done now. And you got that done, Legrand? Good job. Thank you for helping. It ain't easy, but it sure is fun. Pull, pull, pull. That's what Grand wants to do. We go shrimping, he wants to pull the net up. We go out here, he wants to pull the pot up. Uh oh, uh oh, he's oh. dribbled it like a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little too far away for you, wasn't it, Grant? Yeah. I'm a good boat driver, though. You know that. It just takes me a couple times to get the boat where I'm you, I called a spot tail early while it was raining. Oh, you did? When? It was raining today and when? you caught a spot tail out in the causeway? How big was it? A little small guy? Yeah. Wasn't even a keeper. It's just the thrill of the catch anyhow, right? Yeah. What the thrill heavy already. That's a big boy right there upside down. Good lord what I'm saying. That's a big Jimmy dog. That's a huge. Right there now. This old thing. Let's see if I can put him up right now. Look how pretty there you go. the stalls are. That's so mighty nose. We got some grapes. 
Got a daisy chain of them right That's there. That's a keeper. Oh, even with a broken claw. Even with a broken claw. Still, that one is too. That's that a one That's a big too. boy there. Let's get a Huge. good look at him. This gauge is five inches, guys. This crab here is gonna be six and a half, maybe six and three quarter inches from point to point. Grand's pointing at this one, so he wants me to get this That's one a next. Good keeper. And the next biggest one that I see is right here. That's a keeper. This one is not. That's small, small. All of these guys here are small. All of these are small crabs. Go back and make some babies. Yeah, grow up. Make some babies for us. We're going to be looking for more crabs. Wow, we got a whole little bucket here. That's oh, looking we got awesome. one more. Yeah, got one more. One more. Got one more, more spot. Across the river. It's in our honey hole. In my honey hole. Huh? Yeah. How, how did it, that become your honey hole? I think I'm going to claim it as my honey hole. <laughs> I, I put it in a good hole. I, I, hope. I don't know where they even put it. I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah. That's looking like a dang sure of a honey hole somewhere. Let me, let me, let me tell you how the, the, this happens down here in Beaufort, South Carolina. I don't care where you fish or where you crab. You crabbing and you fishing in somebody's hole, right? Get all right, all right, all right. Here we go. I'm going to guess we got five keepers in this pot. Your guess. Nine keep. Nine? I mean, six. Six, five, six, nine. Six. Graham went real high on this one for some reason. He must really think this is his time they all. Here we go. Y'all taking care of these now. I ain't gonna do nothing but stand here and observe. I might roll my mouth a little bit, but no. that. All right, who's gonna be the uh, one that's right here? I see one, two, three, four, that four, one is the keeper. five. Whoa, God, it's gonna be the staff or or myself. I, it's hard to say. Open your door, buddy, and this time strap it back when you do it. Strap it all the way back. This one right here, guys, it was baited with nothing but shrimp heads. Got one, two keepers. Two out keepers. Of it. Three. Three. Four. Four. Ooh. That's a pretty one. Five. Five. Come on, come on. Uh oh. Six. Six. Wait a minute. Was that a little female? Yeah. Uh, I think it actually is. Let's see. That yeah, is a little is female. A little it is female. a keeper. We'll count her, but we are not going to keep her. Yep. But that is number six. That would have been. The females are. You, we can keep them, but we choose not to. As long as they over five inches, we can, but we're not. So that was six total so another far. Another little female. Another little female. We're starting to see some females around here and some a nice quantity of crabs down here, guys. And here we go, number seven. Seven. So guess what? Nobody in this boat wasn't right today. We will give you a total just in case if you have forgot. One. 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 Two, Two, three. three. Four, five, six, four. Four. Five, six. Five, six. Eight, nine, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. ten eleven. Ten. There's number twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18. Woohoo! So that was pretty dang close. 18 crabs, that would be about one third of a bushel. So crabs are going right now around our area for a big number one crabs over $100 a bushel. That right there, 18 crabs, they'll be on average at least $2 a piece. So that would be at least. 36 to 40 dollars worth of crabs that awesome. we have come out here and caught with you guys awesome i think that's pretty good 
they're going to be on me. Plus the bait that we, the same bait that we had called in our cast net just out casting. We had already pulled these same traps two different times and had 19 crabs. So 19, 18, 18 is 37. Right. 37 crabs total, which would have been over a bushel. I meant a half bushel. Because I'm estimating 60 to 65 crabs in a full bushel. So 37 would be over that. So with that bait that we used and messing around out here with you guys making these videos um we ended up with you know 60 70 dollars worth of crabs in total <laughs> that's from the previous video where we share with you guys in this trip take care we got to get out of here <laughs>